Hello friends, welcome. So, uh, for the month of June, I had planned this new series where I'm just going to be um, making a journal from start to finish, from scratch. Um, and so, the series will go as so, like the first uh, week of June, we will build and make um, the journal cover. And then the following week, we'll do signatures and then the next week we will do uh, ephemera for the journals and then the last week just finishing touches and you reveal uh, your journal and so um, also hosting this event in the Facebook group and we just like I mentioned in the last video um, we're just here to encourage and build each other up and just um, yeah kind of do this journal together in real time and so I have here um, this journal cover that I've already made you may have seen this um, in my decoupage video uh, a little bit of me making uh, this specific um, cover and so I'm gonna be using um, this same uh, concept I'm gonna do something a little different um, than the way I made this one specifically but very very similar and so there's so many different ways that you can make junk journals right um, there's just so many videos out there in so many different ways um, that you can make different kinds of journals and whatnot um, but specifically in this video I'm gonna be doing some decoupage with the napkin I'm gonna um, use napkin and it's going to be a hardcover uh, journal and yeah so that's pretty much I'm, I'm trying to keep it basic and very simple at a, a beginner's level so anyone new to journaling or new to bookmaking this is uh, the video for you um, and so yeah as you can see I have two different styles here one I had made um, I put some book corners on the side and I also um, did put the uh, eyelet in the middle there with that type of uh, enclosure the string enclosure and so you can kind of uh, change that out um, if you don't like this kind of string or whatever right but the other one I kind of made the string I sold the string inside of it um, so yeah this is really beautiful I love this uh, pattern I think this is the mariposa um, paper pack and I believe I got it at Michael's. And then um, this uh, cover is made from these napkins as you see here. And like I said, you may have seen this in another video. If you didn't see it, you can go check out that video where I did a bunch of decoupage and different things with the napkins. And I made a ton of covers um, like this. I plan on putting them in my Etsy shop once they're complete. Um, but yeah, I just pretty much got the basics of this as you can see here. I did all the sewing around it um, If you don't have a sewing machine, you can just glue that on that's fine as well. I did sew in the um, The enclosure the ribbon around it as well. You don't have to do that um, You can choose this kind of enclosure with the eyelet um, Yeah, just choose whichever you prefer or you can um, use glue, but I just wouldn't suggest using glue um, for that type of enclosure because it's going to be getting pulled on and what have you. So if you can um, hand stitch it or uh, sew with a sewing machine or I mean maybe even staple that down. That'll work too, right? Just get it down underneath. You can use some staples and then put the uh, fabric or paper, whatever you plan on using over it. Um, but even with a staple, I mean, I don't know. It's not, you know, so secure. I mean, even with stitches, but it's just more secure down. I put... Um, washi tape underneath I put extra glue and then I also did sew it and so it's very very secure in there um so yeah I was just showing you a bunch of the journals I made I made a ton of them and so I used this method with the decoupage and you can use whatever you like um if you have a favorite fabric or a favorite um paper that you would like to use go ahead and choose whatever medium you would like to choose i also um did show you guys the paper pack that i got on uh, mother's day i bought this alan in wonderland theme papers by stamperia and yeah i just love this paper pack and so i'm also going to be using this um chipboard um actually i got this specific uh chipboard from like the the post office the uh they mail you stamps with like this extra uh, hard cardstock or chipboard 
and you can also buy these on Amazon as well or um, there's a bunch of other different uh, mediums you can use um, you can use this or you can also use the Distress uh, Heavy Cardstock by Tim Holtz and they have it in the uh, eight and a half by 11 inch and um, you can go ahead and glue those together um, but if you don't have any of this and you can just use uh, materials from your house that you have right any kind of cardboard um, like from a cereal box like this you may have seen this uh, again in another video of mine when I did the decoupage I showed that I just kind of put those two uh, facing together and then glued that on together to make it extra thick and sewed around it so you can definitely use that or any kind of cardstock that you may have lying around your house whichever you prefer so you just open it um i just wanted to show you real quick you just kind of find that opening where the glue is on the side it opens really easily and quickly as you can see here um i'm just opening it as so and that's how you can get it open and then just size the journal to whatever size uh journal you want to to make most of the paper pack that i have are eight by eight um the Alice in Wonderland here I'm going to show you and uh, I do have the 12 by 12 pack which is a lot bigger but I kind of have an other plans for that paper so mainly I'm going to be using the 8 by 8 papers in um, these packs as you're seeing here and everything that you see me use here I will have uh, linked in the description box below if you're interested or would like to purchase any of these items as well whatever I find I will also um, go ahead and link that below and um, any uh, Amazon links that you see are affiliate uh, links which means I make a very very small commission if you do uh, purchase anything from those specific links so um, thank you if you do use the links I appreciate it so much um, also as you can see here this paper pack is just so beautiful I loved all the um, prints and I just, I don't know, the, like the way they put everything together is just so lovely in here. Um, and so I have a lot of ideas of what I want to do with this and I was just really inspired by this specific um, napkin that I have here. <laughs> it just reminds me of the scene in the movie with the uh, flowers, I forget what it was, but um Oh goodness, I don't remember the scene. It's the part where they're singing uh, Golden Afternoon. If I can uh, put the little clip or scene in there, I will add that to the video. Um, but it's like they're in the dark or something like that. It's really a black background and then the flowers come out. I don't know. That's where I was kind of um, getting inspired from this specific uh, pack that I had purchased. And... Um, yeah, I actually want to make a few journals from this collection. I have so much of the papers and like pretty much everything from the collection. Um, I also wanted to say thank you to the person who uh, gifted me some items from this collection uh, from my Amazon wish list. I appreciate it so much. Uh, she must have saw my Mother's Day uh, haul and ended up uh, gifting me other items that I didn't have already in my collection. So I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And so here for this specific um, journal, I'm going to be decoupaging with the napkin. So I am using um, this solution. It's just glue. Um, it's a watered down uh, Mod Podge. And then when we go ahead and sew those signatures in, we're going to use an awl and um, some thread. Then I have, we're not going to be... Um, sewing in the signatures in this uh, specific video but just so you know later on you will need um, you will need that in order to sew in your signatures and so then I also have um, this uh, ribbon here that I'm going to be using and some ink to ink around the edges uh, um, just to add extra detailing to the papers and what have you and a pair of scissors and then the needles you'll also need uh, to sew in those signatures as well so that'll be uh, I'll show you all that in the next video but just so you can um, get a head start and know what you need uh, for the next week if you don't have any of these items yeah you may um, need to 
find something uh, similar or yeah to uh, solo signatures in and then i just have some um of these brass uh, book corners i'm going to kind of decorate with that as well uh, i have a couple different kind here <clears throat> and then i also do have um this tape and this is sports tape i'll go ahead again uh link everything in the description uh box if you're interested um but it's just very thick tape um and it's it's kind of like that material like a fabric -y, but it's, it's just a very very strong tape i really like making my journals uh specifically with this kind of tape um so yeah i didn't show this in the last video um when i decoupage but this video i'm gonna show exactly how i like to use it and put everything together so yeah i'm gonna be showing you that here shortly and then i also have a few um die cuts or these are a chipboard uh items to decorate with um so yeah, so to decorate the cover, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to be using here, but um, I just took all those things out uh, to have here to inspire me to create. And yeah, I'm going to also be using this thread to sew around um, the cover. <laughs> so yeah, uh, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and move everything out of the way and just take out my napkins. Um, you can go ahead and take out your cover, whatever you're going to put on um over your cover and so this is the mod podge i was telling you i don't really have anything left in here so i'm just gonna empty out whatever i have um yeah whatever remainder is in here um and then just mix that in but it's just uh, matte mod podge mixed in with water and then i just go ahead and mix that in so that's all it is and it dries nice and matte so nothing glossy and i'm just showing you here the measurements of my cover i just left it um as is i didn't want to cut anything here i'm just going to go ahead and cut off um the spine of the book and i'm gonna do one and a half inches for the spine i don't really want this to be a big bulky um, journal um yeah and so i'm just gonna do the one and a half inches uh for the spine i was looking at this uh bookmark here that i was thinking of using um on there but i decided not to that was about two inches um i could have cut off the sides but i don't think i want to use that anyway i'm going to use that for something else and so i'm just going in um using my cutting tool here as you can see and uh cutting that spine um down and yeah you can go ahead and decide however big you want your spine you can customize that uh, to however many uh, signatures or pages you want to put in your book specifically i'm going to do uh, two signatures in this specific book and um, i think one and a half is good for two signatures so yeah um if you want to do maybe three or four you may want your spine a little bigger um but yeah so now what i do um I kind of just leave like a very very small space it's like half a uh, millimeter or whatever it's it's a very very tiny uh space in between here as you can see and i'm just kind of eyeballing it really um so you can do the same and then i'm just gonna go ahead and put the tape around it on both sides and so that's mickey in the background singing He's pretty loud. <laughs> and like I mentioned before, I really, really like this uh, tape specifically. But if you don't have this tape, that's fine. You can use um, whatever uh, fabric uh, to put over this. Just add some glue as well. Um, you can just uh, yeah use fabric, um, tape, or I mean whatever you have um, in your area. At the moment, use it. Um, you don't necessarily have to buy this specific tape, but I I do really like using this. Uh, this tape is very strong, and then I also um, for like my fabric journals, I will still over, um, put fabric over it. Um, but in this case, I am decoupaging with napkins, so I'm just going to be putting the napkin over it. 
and so yeah that's the basic construction of this part of the cover and so now i'm gonna go ahead and um get my bone folder and kind of just go over those creases again and just make sure i seal uh, both sides in uh the glue and then yeah now i'm just gonna go ahead and get the napkin and start decoupaging so i'm just gonna um put the i'm gonna take this layer off first there's two layers in here and i'm just gonna take off one layer i want to keep that um other layer on just to make sure that the the um napkin itself is a little more it's it's darker i don't want to take off both layers um but yeah if you if you want to take off both layers on yours um that is fine you can do that as well um it also does come out nice and smoother if both layers are off and you just have one so now i'm just make mixing my glue making sure it's nice and uh, mixed well and i'm using this uh flat brush it just helps um spread out that glue really nicely so i really enjoy using this uh flat brush for that and um yeah i'm just spreading that out throughout um i'm trying not to add too much glue just because i don't want it to warp too much but it's fine it'll uh pretty much go back um into its uh regular uh straight um uh, form and so so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and put this on i'm gonna start from um where that other book um the end of the book is so i'm covering that whole um spine with it and then i'm gonna start the next one so you see i kind of left a little bit of space on all around the edges and i'm gonna cut the corners off and then um put that in so i'll just show you here in a minute I'm um, just adding some glue and then I'm just cutting these little corners, and little triangles off and then um, putting it around like so. And very, very simple, easy. You can do this, like I said, with fabric, any anything you have, um, paper, cardstock, whatever you're going to use. Same, same concept. Um, just probably not with um, this uh, type of glue. You may want to use a, a stronger glue, maybe a fabric, fabric tack or, or a glue for that specific um, material that you're using. So yeah, um, yeah, I think this is pretty basic, pretty simple. Uh, what I like to use my uh, journals for. I like to do memory keeping. I do journal in them. Um, and I just like to keep like any memorabilia from, you know, that month or whatever events I have going on. I just like to stick all that type of stuff somewhere. It's like a catch all where you can just like put all your goodies in. Right. So that's pretty much what I use it for. Um, yeah, just keep a couple of notes down. Uh, jot a few things that I want to remember down and um, yeah I think they're just really nice ways of memory keeping and great to pass on to your family members as well beautiful gifts um, I think they're very personalized um, when given as a gift and um, yeah I just I love them so much and so yeah um this is it this is the basics of decoupage and then after we're done with this um part i'm gonna go ahead and set it aside to dry and then i'm gonna come back um do some stowing around the edges get out uh some paper to go the inside of that cover and sew that with the um with the closure you can choose whatever kind of closure like i said you want um there's so many different ways to close your books you can get really really creative um but this specific book like i showed you in the beginning i'm going to be closing it um with that ribbon that i showed you in the beginning and then also later on um not in this uh specific video i am going to be making okay mickey's singing again <laughs> I'm going to be making a, a fabric cover for this to go over. If you've seen my other video um, from my strawberry journal, I have a 
fabric cover on that one and I'm pretty much going to be doing the same thing so it's just a, a fabric cover if anyone's interested um on knowing how to make those or a video on that go ahead and comment below and let me know and maybe I'll make one um but yeah it's it's very simple as well and they're really fun to make and I think they look great and just add like that extra uh to your journal so that's pretty much it and i'm gonna go ahead and clean up this area and let this dry for a bit i like to sit it up while it's drying and so now it's all dried and i um like to go ahead and fold and bend all the little creases just make sure uh, it's nice and flexible and now I'm just going to go ahead and pick out what kind of papers I want to put on the inside. I really like this uh, print and I thought it looked really nice. I'm still looking through the pack and then I see these papers and I kind of like these better. And so I don't know, I'm, I end up asking the kids, they were there next to me and I'm like, which one do you like? And uh, one said the red and then the other one said the black side. And then I looked at um, the piece that I originally was going to um, use for the cover. And so I just flipped it over. I was trying to uh, look at how it looks and matches with the front cover. They both went really well. Um, but yeah, I end up um, looking at it uh, next to the piece that I was going to put in the cover. So you can see here and it kind of matched with that and so I decided to go with that uh, paper instead and so now I'm just going to go ahead and cut these pieces to size with the cutting board and I'm also going to ink all the edges you want to make sure that uh, everything fits nicely and the book closes once all the pieces are in I actually trimmed uh, I used the extra scraps for the, the middle piece there for the spine and I'm gonna sew that all together and then I just took this uh, trim and I was cutting the fabric as well and you want to attach this first to the uh, front cover so when you're sewing around the front cover um, you want to attach that to the cover and so all the pieces are sewn on um, I attached the trim and now I'm just going in putting uh, these pieces in. I also did add um, some black gesso to the middle of the uh, spine there so you won't see any of that white coming out. And yeah, and that's it. And then I'm just using my bone folder to smoothen it out. I think this is pretty basic um, steps. Yeah, I think this is the most easiest way to explain and um, show you i think this is a really quick and easy process i hope i was able to explain this nicely and um yeah if this is your first time you were able to follow along um nicely as well um so i'm just again going over it with the glue making sure it's nice and stuck down and so that's it uh how it looks open so you can see, um, I'm still going to do some decorating on the um, inside. So I was saying here, you want to make sure that it's attached um, and glued on to the actual cover before putting those other pieces on. So yeah, that's the gesso that I had used in, uh, in between there. And yeah, and so now I'm going to go ahead and decorate the cover a little bit here on camera with you if uh, you're also doing yours then you can go ahead and decorate as well um yeah i decided to use this die cut that i had here and yeah i'm using this little uh, tool here to poke out all the little pieces and i was originally going to go with that other um it was like that chipboard piece that I had showed you in the beginning. But then I decided to go with this instead. 
I honestly don't even know what made me change my mind, but I just did, and yeah, so now I'm using um this here, and yeah, I'm just adding some glue, I'm gonna put it to the cover here, and this part, I mean, you should just really like, try to have fun with it, sometimes I feel like we overthink it, especially the cover, um yeah just like i said i was gonna go with one thing and then i switched it it always can change and you can always add to it so um yeah i'm definitely gonna be adding a lot more to mine this is just the base of what i had planned i play around with a couple different ideas and different things here i really like the back side of this card as well it's like a little journaling card so uh what I really love about this period paper is that uh, it's double-sided and front and back is just beautiful prints. Like, I hate covering any of their papers. Um, but, yeah. So, uh, either side would have looked nice here. Um, but I do end up using Alice. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep that there. I'm I'm just playing around again with the front cover. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, yeah, helps me kind of decide a little bit um on what I should do with this. But yeah, I was just showing you that's what I was gonna originally put on there, but then I decided with this instead. And yeah, I'm probably gonna put some more. Uh, something to kind of make this pop out a bit more because um, it was kind of overshadowed with the background. So I'm definitely going to play around with some colors there and whatnot. But um, I'm using these brass corners as well that I had here and just applying that down with uh, E6000 so you can see. And yeah, it's really... Uh, simple easy effect there just take out whatever you have you know to decorate with uh you really don't need too many things it could be like a plain um cover with maybe just a plaque in the front or you know one die cut or whatever it really is just up to you and your style and what you like to do like no pressure really um just have fun with it and yeah if you kind of get stuck take a little break and come back to it later that's normally what i do i normally always just you know if i get stuck or um i'm feeling a little like unsure about something i'll just go ahead and stop and then take a little break and come back to it you can definitely always do that that always helps um and so yeah i'm just playing around with these die cuts i really like that too with the queen in the front um but i don't know yet we not, or we don't know what's gonna <laughs> be the end result here until like you know the fourth week so like i said this is gonna be a process with um four weeks uh split up in the month of june and um the first week is going to be making the cover as we just did now and next week would be the signatures and at any point in time throughout these weeks, I mean, you can always go back and forth and, of course, you know, uh, change things up. Nothing is uh, set in stone. So you can always change things up to your liking. And, yeah, um, there's so many different kind of journals, right? There's art journals. There's glue, glue journals, glue books um, where people just like to uh, glue things into them. Uh, it's just so many different kind of journals and yeah, you just choose whatever you like to do best. This is your creation and you know, you choose whatever you want to do with the book. Um, and yeah, just have fun and, you know, let your creativity flow. And if you're following along, um, live with us while we're doing this um we're here to give feedback and help you along the way as well so if you have um any questions or you need any help with anything in the facebook group um go ahead and you know you can go ahead and ask away and i'm sure um there's a ton of people who would like to uh help you out and so i had uh 
these little uh, keyholes here from Tim Holtz. And I was thinking about adding that there to the cover. I may add a little key dangle. I'm not sure exactly what um, this end result is going to be. I'm still playing around with it. And there's plenty of time to do so. So don't feel like pressured. We still have lots and lots of time. Um, this week is um, the week that you're going to be working solely on your cover. But you can go back to it at any point. So I also had um, these molds that I was playing around with. Um, they're also by Stamperia. And I also have these charms as well. Um, so lots of things to play around with. Um, yeah, there's still plenty of time, like I said, to um, change it up and yeah, do whatever you want. So I hope you all have fun throughout this process. And if you have any questions, please uh, don't be afraid to reach out. And if you're on YouTube and watching this later on, I hope these videos are helpful for you um, to look back at and help you along the way um if this was your first time creating a journal and you're here with uh, me i would love to know comment below and let me know your thoughts on uh, the process and yeah i hope you have fun following along and creating um your journal if it's your first or your 100th <laughs> so i will see you all later in another video i hope you have a great blessed day and yeah I will see you later.